Hi Aries, this is Alex and I'm here to bring you your weekly tarot reading. I hope you guys are doing amazing. Let's see what the universe has for you, Aries. Mm, Queen of Wands, there you go, Aries showing up in your reading. A Capricorn with Queen of Pentacles. Mm, Scorpio. Ooh, sweet Moses. Uh, I feel like somebody is applying a lot of pressure to you, right? Kind of feels like somebody's not getting what they want, so they could be throwing a tantrum. Um, I do kind of feel like somebody is trying to be there for this person, but to an extent, it's almost like they want what they want. And this feels like a relationship. Yeah, it feels like a marriage. And it kind of feels like somebody's at their wits end. Look at that, the Eight of Swords twice. Trying to figure out like how the heck to make this person happy. Um, this uh, Page of Swords with the Queen of Wands, you know, this is almost like you... Somebody's uh, somebody's trying to be your end-all, be-all. They're very curious about you. And I do kind of feel like this person is hiding in the wings. They could be looking at your social media. It's almost like they were tiptoeing around you because to an extent they may feel like... Um, it's almost like sending you small signals, if you will, or, you know, small messages. Hey, how you doing? You know what I mean? But I feel like somebody's incredibly curious about you, right? And I do kind of feel like the reason why they not, have not necessarily approached you, Aries, um, is because they're, number one, I feel like they're extremely intimidated by you. But then also number two, especially with this Queen of Wands, they may feel like you have a lot of different options. Now with the Nine of Wands and then also the Ten of Cups, I do kind of feel like, yeah, this person does want to be your end-all be-all, but they're kind of maybe feeling like, okay... Am I Aries type? Could I make Aries happy? Um, I'm also hearing that you're not necessarily letting them in. You're not letting into them into your heart, into your world, into, you know, kind of your quote unquote good graces. They're thinking a lot about how to approach you, how to be who you want, want and need them to be. With the Queen of Pentacles and then also the Queen of Wands, this person is trying their hardest to, to figure out how to be your equal, right? How to be exactly what you want and or need. Not only that, but this person kind of thinks about you a lot. Um, this person may do research on you. This person may ask around about you um, to figure out, again, how to be your Queen of Pentacles, how to approach um, they're, they're afraid of rejection, which is implied there with the Eight of Swords, but it's almost like um, they're afraid of you rejecting them because they may not be your type. They think that they're not your type. Um, and I'm, I just keep hearing they're afraid to approach, they're afraid to approach. And again, they're afraid, afraid to approach because... For them, you appear to be intimidating. A lot of you guys look are beautiful. You're good looking, male or female. And this person just feels like they're out of your league. Eight of Swords and a Seven of Cups. There's a confusion about approach. Um, not only that, but I don't think you know this person exists, Aries. Now, here's the thing. I got to keep it real with y'all, right? A lot of freaking tarot readings are like, oh, this person, this person, this person. It's going to come along somebody, somebody, somebody. Aries, you don't know who this person is. Not only that, but this person may be married or may just be coming out of a divorce, um, coming out of a marriage. Some of you guys may be married and have this secret admirer, right? Three of Pentacles here says is somebody you either work with, somebody who's in a club with you, in a group environment with you. Um, angels are saying for you to help specify who this person is, this person is incredibly awkward and they make really, really, really awkward. They, it's almost like they communicate in an awkward fashion. This person could be a Virgo. They could be a Capricorn. 
Um, I don't think they're an Aries. I think this is you, but it's possible they could be an Aries as well, or they can be a Gemini, or they can be a Scorpio. I feel like they may have Scorpio sun, right? They could have Virgo moon, and then also Capricorn rising, and maybe Gemini, um, sorry, Gemini rising, or Gemini um, Mercury, two different placements, and then also uh, Capricorn Venus, Yeah, I just kind of keep hearing that this person doesn't think they're your type. But this person is kind of pining for you, right? This is almost like a little lovesick puppy who just wants you to look their way. Yeah, and this makes sense with the Eight of Swords and the Four of Wands. They don't know your status. Um, Eight of Swords here twice and then also the um, Hermit there. It kind of feels like, yeah, they think about you a lot. They fantasize about you. They dream about you. For some of you guys, this person is trying to manifest you and also maybe even trying to um, communicate with you telepathically. Um, with the death card here and the three of pentacles, this could have been somebody you used to work with. They could be in your current work environment as well. Maybe they just started or this is somebody who you used to work with as in they left your company. This is their mindset, unlikely. And it's unlikely that um, Aries is gonna give me a shot. Peaceful resolution says to me that you will you will find out who they are, but then also at the same time, they will find out your status and if they really have a shot with you, Aries. Not the right time, yeah. You know what, with the Eight of Swords sitting here, especially on your side of the house, Crosswatcher, I don't think it's a good idea for you to approach Aries right now because I feel like Aries' mind may be somewhere else, maybe in a relationship, maybe about school, maybe about starting their business, right? And I do kind of feel like Crosswatcher, if you do approach Aries at this time, you are going to get turned down. But this is somebody who's very curious about you and I'm getting they've been asking around about you. Um, this person sees you as the complete package. They think about you constantly, fantasize about you, but they don't know a lot about you. So they're working on trying to kind of information gather, information gather on how to kind of quote unquote, get to know you. And the thing I keep hearing about this person, Aries, is they're super duper awkward, right? So think about, if you know who this person is, please leave me a comment. Because I just hear, like, especially with this page, page of swords, which is Gemini, this person is super duper awkward. And the reason why you don't know that they exist, so to speak, is because they're not your type. They're, they're, uh, I hate to say it, but yeah, this is not somebody you would normally consider. The energy is gaining momentum, which means that the truth will be revealed soon. Look, the answers you need are coming. Yeah, this this person's about to make themselves known or you're going to know who this is. Um, now, angels are saying, well, tell Aries why this person is around them or approaching them. And with the Queen of Pentacles here, it does kind of feel like, yeah, they're very different from you. But perhaps this person is an energetic match for you, Aries. I promise you, this is not your type. But I believe they're a great energetic match for you. A new start is coming. Card at the bottom. A time to give rather than take. Yep. This person has to come forward, Aries. They have to. And again, for you, again, for those of you guys to just kind of distinguish myself from other readers, this is somebody who is around your workplace. Um, this is weird. I don't know who this may resonate with. But I also kind of feel like maybe this person had something to do with your marriage, as in they saw you, you know, at the church or when you were going to rent the hall, they were there, they worked for the venue from where you got married or they were, um, yo, sorry, angels just also said to your divorce attorney, Ugh, that's, that's very specific. Anyway, Aries, I'm going to go ahead and leave it here. If the reading somehow resonates, don't forget to like and subscribe. Love you, Aries. Bye.